Kitgum is one of the seven districts in Achuli sub-region in northern Uganda. With a total population of over 200,000, Kitgum is listed among the northern districts with the highest cases of teenage pregnancy. When a girl gets pregnant, they want you to go to your husband's home. So the determinant factor mostly is the pregnancy, which brings about child marriage in our culture. Child marriage is also highest in northern Uganda, estimated at 59%, followed by eastern region at 58%, western at 52%, while south and central, including Kampala, lie below 50%. People want to be with money on them. So you see a girl like this, you will think of money. Through this narrow windy road, we were led to Laik West, Labuamida Sub County, Kitgum District, where Patricia, not her real name, was handed over for marriage at 17 years. When her first child passed on, she returned home, but her parents brought her back and collected 200 shillings as fine. Patricia and her husband are struggling and sometimes go for days without food. We have an interaction with you. Harriet is another survivor who was forced in marriage as a teenager by her parents. It was a horrible story. I just felt like hanging myself, so I just said, no, I cannot kill myself. But right now I have two kids. One is seven years old, another one is four years old. Her attempts through the local leaders did not yield any fruit. When you report those issues to them, they will demand some little money to pay, and when you're not having the money, they will not look into your matters seriously. It is not charging, it is part of the operation of what you are doing, executing your activity at that particular time. The casual leaders came with a pronouncement below 18. The casual leaders does not sign that paper. The gaps, as I told you, we don't have implementing organs. Sometimes they, they eat away from the casual leaders. Leaders say this continue to grow due to rampant poverty, bad cultural practices, lack of information, and negative gender norms, among others. Even this year, our candidate who should have registered was locked, and the parents did nothing. I was told there is a man who rent with her to Kampala. Uh, some of the boys around, they just uh, came and took them away as their, their wife. And parents did not even re uh, report that case to us. Well, if, if you're 14, you're pregnant, go to your husband. They take you. And it's very high because teenage pregnancy has become too rampant. You know, we have a lot of cases. So the fuel which they give at times, it gets over when we have not even finished other issues. The Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development acknowledges significant strides by government but decries limited funding in programming around child protection. We have done... Uh one-on-ones with MPs, held the uh, high-level sessions with them to, to bring it to their notice on the need for, for funding uh, social development programs. But we understand that, you know, the budget can't be enough to, to, to cater for everything that we, we, we propose. Mugabe implored citizens to make use of the toll-free self-help line instituted by the ministry to report any form of child-related abuses. As stakeholders, as CSOs, we need to work closely with government to ensure the implementation of these policies and closely monitor. Child marriages threaten girls' lives, health and future. Victims and survivors see no hope returning to school but hope for vocational trainings to secure their livelihoods. Adi Oloa, UBC News.